Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Ark and we are back on Parkour 3 and we are still in the ice section. I can't remember what this is called. <laughs> the ice the ice area. Anyhow, we are going to pick up where we left off last time. If you're not familiar with what's happening, uh, Spencer Johnson created a map called Parkour Three as I fall off the edge. Uh, parkour 3 that has all of those different pathways that you can see off in the distance. And each pathway is centered around a particular topic or surface area. And this one is ice. Now we are part way up. In the last video, we actually made it up to the point where this one starts. Uh, by the way, you are allowed to, once you get to the little gray flat squares, those are the kind of reset areas. Once you reach those, then you are able to set that as a new home position and you can make that your new starting point. The goal overall is to get through the entire thing. Now, what I've been doing is recording these different videos and I will eventually cut them all together into one giant super cut. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought it would be fun to kind of bring you guys along for the journey which is so frustrating. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Trying to get the truck positioned to where you can make things like these turns. Uh, oops, okay, well, and then once of course you get two wheels off the edge, you're generally pretty much hosed unless you can figure out a way to work it out. Now, the reason why I'm using the default D series is because according to the rules that Spencer Johnson has for this leaderboard competition, whatever you want to call it, uh, you have to use the default D series. The only thing I did was change the color just because I wanted a different color. So <laughs> that's, that's it. Everything else is perfectly fine. And I, for all I know, Changing the color technically breaks the rules. I don't know. In any case, we are working our way up here. Now, this is the hardest turn right there. And you can see the platform up there. Well, I'm moving around a little fast in this kind of sped up video. But this turn right here is the absolute just frustration. It's the death of my car, my truck, so many times over and over. In fact, um, the problem that I started having with myself was that uh, I was getting pretty confident, uh, especially in here, that I could pretty much clear these first few legs without much thought or work. Uh, as you can see, when you stop giving thought to the process, it does not go well. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can send yourself flying off the edge because you're going too fast and you're not able to stop. Now, what I did figure out is that if you take this pathway and you uh, essentially, if you, now here I'm going a little too fast. I really am. Uh, as you can see, I'm going about 20 something miles an hour as I go hoofing through there. Uh, after doing this time and time and time and time again, I believe the optimal speed is actually more around the 10 to 15 mile an hour mark. Uh, that tends to get you through this first section and then around this corner without too much hassle. And then again, that 10 to 15, you can get up here. Now, the re part of the reason why my speedometer is showing crazy speeds is because the wheels are spinning insanely. Uh, what you want to look at is the little mark above the speedometer, and that is the airspeed. And that's the actual speed that the truck is traveling. Um, but in my overconfidence, uh, in, in my ability to get through this first part, I was making some very dumb mistakes. So the key to this, uh, definitely to this, this part right here is to make sure that you line your truck up so that you can kind of pivot your front wheels. And I sort of missed here. Do I get out? Yeah. Okay. So you want to pivot your front wheels so that at least one wheel 
uh, kind of goes over anywhere that the ice connects. Essentially, that kind of gives you that grip zone for you to be able to move on to the next section. In this part here, it is pretty much crucial. As you can see, there's a much wider gap in between some of these ice cubes. And if you can get yourself positioned where they touch, that is going to help your case. Now, going up this direction, again, you want to sort of aim for where they touch, but those some of those gaps are pretty big and it's very easy to get stuck. <sighs> All right, the dreaded corner. This thing really, really <laughs> frustrated me to no end. I, I, I believe that my, my problem is, or what I was attempting to do, what I, what I think I need to do at this point, is once I get up to that corner, if I can get my truck turned so that it is facing perfectly down that pathway in order to reach that next landing zone, then... I believe the truck will make it through there. The problem, of course, is getting there. Because I do stuff like this on the first part of this. I, I, I just, and this is not even the first part. Again, we've already done some of the ice pathway down below us. Um, and, and honestly, the first part of the ice is really no problem at all. It, it, these ice cubes are absolutely... Or, or were for me anyway, absolutely frustrating and just I, every time I thought I had a solution, I would end up getting stuck in a way that I generally hadn't before. There you go. <laughs> just kind of like that. I mean, yes, you've seen my truck tilted over, but probably not in that exact way, in that exact spot, because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I just throw my truck over the edge? Now, I will tell you one of the other things that um, I kind of played around with is the gearing, the high and low gearing. And as you can see down in the corner uh, next to the speedometer, I'm currently in high gear. I had been using the low gear, but I don't know if, if it's just the way I play. I don't know if it's the actual solution, but the, the thing that I found was that high gear seemed to, um, th let me back up, the low gear seemed to be providing like almost too much torque. And here I am so close. But as you can see, the problem is I am down too far from the lip of where my tire can actually get up over this ice cube. And then trying to position my truck so that I can uh, get up there ends up being futile. I mean, there you go. As a matter of fact, I even land back at my starting point or with a starting point for uh, where I was for this particular map. <laughs> then uh, as much as we saw last time, the frustration sets in and there are times where I am just absolutely sending the truck over the edge. I don't care. I just want this story stupid level to be done like that great so again we are continuing and uh, i'm not editing this this is uh, actually you know sped up footage from my entire run that i recorded uh, now this particular run uh, only lasted about 35 real minutes uh, and then I decided to cut it into a 15 minute show so really you're only seeing this at about double speed and I did that intentionally as well one because by the time spoiler alert by the time I get through this I do actually make it through all of the ice but also because uh, when I've been running the other videos um, because they have been so long real time when I shorten them down, I mean, we are flying through the video and sometimes it's a little hard to kind of tell what's going on. Uh, and I don't know. I just wanted to see if maybe you guys might appreciate something that wasn't quite as fast. <sighs> All right, here we go. Now, my thought is if I can get up around this corner and then get myself positioned then I could, now I am lined up, ready to head off onto the next platform. 
And here we go. Except <laughs> I ended up a little too far to the right and got myself stuck. What is that? One, two, three, four, what, what four and a half to five blocks from the next safe zone. Now, here's a weird thing that I started doing. I'm wiggling my front tires back and forth and I'm putting it in drive and I've been in reverse and for whatever crazy reason, it caught. I, I have no idea. I, I, what I what I thought was going to happen was I could just kind of inch my way forward and maybe that's exactly what happened. But hey, you know what? We made it to the next platform and now we are on this part. Um, which essentially uh, is, is counter slanted. So you've got to figure out how to get your truck uh, up this hill here. But as you can see, everything is kind of twisted. So I decided that probably the solution to this particular section is to just send the truck flying. The problem, as you can see, is that when we try to do that, the ice cubes are bent up intentionally, I'm sure, to grab the truck. So there's no real way for you to uh, just send it flying. You're, you're gonna have to use some finagling. And the other issue that I was having is that if you run out of steam, or when I ran out of steam, there was just no way for me to start to go back up that uh, that approach to the next landing zone. So, and then even when I came close, because those ice cubes are tilted so much, your truck loses grip, and just when you think you're about to reach the top, for no reason at all. It just goes flying off to the left. I'm not doing that. I'm not steering. That truck is doing that because the ice is so slippery that I lose all friction and off we go. Now, this definitely took multiple attempts and <laughs> you're going to see that there are a couple of times where I get very, very close. Here you go. Oh, so close to at least hitting the landing zone. At this point, that is my goal. Yes, I'm trying to get to the top. There we go, I at least smacked the landing zone. I thought if I could at least just hit the thing, then that might build a little bit of confidence in the way I think that I can get up to the top. So this was a good one. Ripped the entire back wheel off, and then we lost the spare tire. Not gonna get far on ice that way. All right, here we go. Up, 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 and again, immediately turns to the left. I there's I have no control of that. The truck just started going. Smacking into the landing zone once again. Oh my gosh. Watching this back again is just, it's just as frustrating as the first time. Okay, here I made it to the top. Now, I don't believe the rules say that you have to, you know, stop on the landing, you just have to make it there. I made it there. There, You saw it, there's the skid mark proof that I made it to that level, and so I am counting that. I have no idea if Spencer's gonna let me count that or not, but on this particular uh, next section, uh, we have a track that at least, thankfully, is not so skinny that we're gonna just roll off. I'm so glad that he made it wide enough that you could actually travel the thing. A couple of the catches, the downhill bits, they are scary. I'm so glad that he put that wall at the end. And then you have the uphill bits. So here we go, here's another downhill. Well, there was one a little earlier. Now here's one, and basically what I did here was just, I didn't even really accelerate. I just let my gas, you know, I just gave it just enough gas, but I kept the parking brake on and I essentially slid down the hill. So you got the downhill bits, but then you've also got these uphill bits. Now this one here is not too bad, but you really have to be careful going through here because if you accelerate too fast, you will go flying off of the edge. If you don't go fast enough, you're not going to be able to pull yourself up that incline. So we work ourselves around, we come around here, and you can see we make it to the next platform. And that is the end of the ice parkour 
hallelujah, unbelievable. And so that wraps it up. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C., and Zachary for supporting the channel. And thank you so much for watching, as always. I'm David Inark. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.